here we are. Say hi, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. We're, we're adding a junction box. Do you want me to turn off the music? No, you're good. So, Johnny's got the box here. Where is the box? Where's the box? Oh, it's over here. What's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> so we're running 100 amps to this jumper box. It'll be mounted down there. down there on that wall and we'll get to that in a second. So that's what we're doing. I just knocked this thingy out. Oh, we gotta knock the thingy out. With my hammer. <laughs> my hammer and my... Dude, we're getting washed out by tool. that window. And my other tool. It's hammer. Hammer. We don't have any tools here. <laughs> That'll change shortly, I think. Right? Uh, yeah, I gotta get my other toolbox here from, um, from the other shop. But we're rewiring this because I just bought another. Uh, you're making noise, sir. Shut up. I'll kill. 31 Chevy bits. Well, 32 Chevy bits. And El Chapo on the back. And then 31 Chevy bits. So yeah, we're gonna rewire this because I purchased a new. <laughs> um, we're gonna bring Johnny's welder over here and we're gonna start. We're gonna, yeah, it's not rewire, it's wire. We're gonna start doing more work out of my garage space here because it's a three car, three and a half car. And get more stuff done. Where we need it to be. Hi. What, what's going on? I found a stud. Yeah, it's over here. It's right here. This guy. Shut up, Mike. No, we <clears throat> feel it in there. Found a stud. It's in there. It's in this hole. That hole goes straight through there in this junction box here. I'm gonna rip uh, these two 15s out because those go to that and I don't use it. So we're gonna add a 100 amp breaker here. It's gonna jump, go through the hole and into the other box. Yeah, there we go, these guys. These guys? Yeah. 75 pounds a piece, and since we have drywall on two of them, we can only hit one stud. So that's why I put two of those in. Just so you know. Tennis balls. So my wife doesn't hit things in her car. A little update. We got a lot done. No, we didn't. Uh, see, Johnny's doing the main box, and then we went all the way down. Way over here. I don't know. Can you see that? Anyway, you know, here's Johnny. Hi. Whoop, adjust the camera. Anyway, there you have it. And um, so I guess we'll turn the camera back on later once we figure out it doesn't work. 
<laughs> because Johnny fucked <laughs> it up. <laughs> All right, so we finished late last night. Uh, we got everything um, ran. Um, yeah. So it might be easier to see now that it's daylight. I know the, the video yesterday was a little dark, but let's see. We got our junction box that goes to the outside. And the way I, way I ran it, I'm gonna bring my air compressor here and it's gonna set in this corner. We're gonna hardwire it into this 30 amp. This is the 110, we're running 20 amps um, with 20 amp plugs because you gotta make sure those match. And that this whole run all the way down to the window down there is, uh, is 20 amp. And then we got a 30 amp breaker. Got a 30 amp breaker for, you know, obviously the, the 220 plug for the welder. So oh, uh, essentially uh, we stole 100 amps from the main breaker on the other wall and it puts us at, what is that, 80 amps? It gives us uh, another 20 amps to use if we want to put another run of, uh, I guess, 110 or, you know, whatever. I wanted to make sure I had more use on the other side than what I'm pulling. And it was just easier that way. And we're going to overload these breakers before we overload the other one. So these... These breakers will pop before we pull too much juice. Um, and hopefully we'll have enough juice, which I want uh, 100 amp, we'll have enough juice to run the welder and compressor at the same time. So I'm gonna show you the outside. There it is, 100 amps garage sub panel. So then I guess the next stop, the next step is to um, get a storage unit so I can make more room in here or I got to make some shelves for that back wall and then so I can put things on the shelf get everything off the floor we're gonna put lights in see how dim this light is and then the other ones here which has an LED bulb in it it's as bright as my garage gets it's not very bright so we're gonna get four of those LED uh, long strip shop lights so I'm gonna get four of them. I'm gonna run them into the outlets so they'll turn on when you turn the switch on. I mean, that's all I got right now. I guess it's been a year since I moved in here and I've been kind of slacking on getting everything ready because I just didn't have the time. But now I'm making more time to do more stuff out of my garage. We got a couple of cars we're gonna build in here. So I need to make the room. There it is. That's all I got for now. I'll see you around. Go hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. You can also check out our website. It's garagejunkieapparel.com. We have all our shirts available for purchase. We'll see you next week.